a genie grants you immortality under the condition you choose one possible but improbable way you can be killed. What is your immortality loophole? I die when all the games in my Steam library are completed. Possible. This kills the PC gaming industry and op develops a massive urge to have completed every Steam game except Bad Rats, which gets completed by another person on his computer while he is away from it on a lark. I like this one because one day, you decide you don't want to live anymore, and go on another mortal lifelong mission to complete each game, finding new purpose for life in your attempt to die. Then, just as you're about to best the last game, the final collectible in your grasp, you look around, and somewhat reluctantly close the game. You step away from your computer for the first time in years, desk surrounded by filth and trash. You walk out of your room to see the seaside ranch home you purchased after your third lifetime as a successful musician, whose career was cut short by a tragic diving accident and your body never recovered, unto shade by the years. You walk around your extravagant home. Attend to all the collectibles in immortal life has brought you, material possessions filling your home. No, your house. This hasn't been a home in years. You decide to go outside, your age and physical status, that of an active 30-something, even though you're well over 200 years old. Your first walk in decades. Is it really time? Has that day come? What was the rest of the world like? What year was it? Does it matter? You want to die, don't you? You make it back to the house around dawn. It's cold on the coast this time of year, but the weather has never fazed you, not even when you did that river float in Alaska with only your backpack and a small raft. You're not hungry, though you never have been before, even though you studied under it all his top chefs just over 50 years ago. You don't feel like sleeping, even though you haven't in about a decade. So what do you want to do? You sit back at your desk as the sun begins to rise over the ocean, a large window specifically facing east a very important detail two lifetimes ago, when you had this place built. How many sunrises have you seen now? It doesn't really matter, does it? The past thousand or so have only fueled the drive to finish those thousand games. What do you want to do? You ask yourself this, a question you've previously had no problem answering. But now. You slouch in your chair and look down at your shirt, something you'd imagine would be in a worse state by now, having not changed for god knows how long. You sit as the sun rises. The light shines on your face. As you glare against the sun, ready to close the curtains as you've done countless times before. And it hits you. The sun on your face, muscles activated after so long. You feel it. You're ready. This is a lifetime culmination you've been working toward for so long. It's this moment. You boot up the game, reload the save, and prepare yourself. You print off the letter you prepared in Word 2000. Or was it 2020? Oh well. Someone would eventually find this place, and would want to know what happened to this man who lived a hundred lives. You lay the letter down on the table in your foyer. You wouldn't want someone to walk in, and see whatever lies behind your bedroom door unprepared. Hundreds of years of life can't culminate into a pretty death. You find your way back to your desk. The sun is shining now, but that's okay. For some reason, it feels good today. Today is a new day, and tomorrow, tomorrow, that will finally not be the case. You look at the screen. The hidden easter egg sitting just in front of you. Just one button from no tomorrow. It's time. You reach out, and grab it 100 hundredths collectibles found. You sit back. Smile. The time has come. You're ready. The game flourishes its congratulations, but nothing happens. This can't be. This was supposed to be the moment. You save, close the game, and go to Steam. 100% completion this was supposed to be it. What could have gone wrong? You pour over the list in your library. A list you haven't checked in years. After installing each and every game, when you decided to make this final push 18 TB of every type of game on Steam imaginable, you check the list. Games, 1094. Installed, 1093. You spend the next 15 minutes checking for that one grayed out name. The one thing standing between you and your final choice. Bad Rats. A gag gift from your friend that cost $0.13 during the Steam Summer Sale back in 2013. You remember the exact inscription from all those years ago. Now this game will be in your library forever. Chiss, Ducker, Titus. You sit back, and you cry. 
you cry because you can't manage anything else, the first feeling in what must be decades. You laugh, you stand up, and throw your chair to the ground, tears of joy streaking your face. It feels so incredible. So intoxicating. After the shock settles, the realization hits. Do you really want to die? You sure as hell don't want to play bad rats. No. Maybe this life needs one more chance. You made it worth it before, didn't you? You took a step back and decided what you were going to make your life out to be. You committed to it, your life, to love, to experience. You can do it again. You click the start button on your desktop. Your home screen one of your photographs from one of your many world tours. India. Maybe that's where you'll start. Who knows where? Who cares? It doesn't really matter, does it? You click shut down. A small thermal exhaust port. The butt. If every human being, at the same moment, wishes that I died, then I will die. This pretty much only prevents me from becoming an evil god emperor of mankind, something I have no interest whatsoever in, and also provides a convenient failsafe in the heat death. You are the only human left around with nothing to do scenario. You could be a god emperor, you just have to keep a few people happy. Specifically keep yourself happy. Oh man, a fleeting contemplation of suicide could do it at the right time. By being sent into the sun. Pretty hard to do accidentally, and a cool way, to guarantee to get into space. Pretty hard to do intentionally too, to be fair. Thrown into an active volcano between the hours of noon and 4pm on leap day. You'd be even more ducked, if it wasn't leap day. Stabbed in the heart with a crayola crayon. Specifically, the color celestial blue. Flesh would be a better color, as it was deemed racist, and is no longer made, but can still be found in antiques. I have a mint condition Indian red crayon in my dad's safe from my childhood. Figured it wouldn't be around long. Arrow to my heel. Classic. Simpsons did it. Oh wait, wrong Homer. I'll spontaneously combust when Half-Life 3 gets released. How about you set it for, when you 100% HL3, so you at least get to play it thoroughly. Exactly my thoughts. HL3 is out. Also, wait combusts spontaneously. Dies tomorrow. That's the best part, because tomorrow never comes. They would have to draw a dark magic circle under me, recite a specific 100 number string, while I stand there, and listen to it uninterrupted. After that they would slit my throat, while holding a live chicken and read the book 1984 backwards. Only then will I have been slain. Too difficult. Would just encase your feet and lead, and drop you in the ocean, to let you drown forever. Isn't there a precedence for unlimited orgasm, if you can remain in a state of permanent asphyxiation without actually succumbing? Sounds too pleasant an outcome. But then Op gets super hungry and stuff, and some tsunami will probably toss him out of the sea in the distant future. Then you have Dracula 40k on the loose. Drown at the bottom of the Mirianus trench, while holding a van of soup. Edit, that's supposed to be, can but a whole van full of soup is so much better. Specifically, a 1984 Ford O'Connor line full of tomato and basil. He won't find any in a century or so. I can only be killed by someone who is not born of woman, and only after Great Burnham Wood to High Duns in Ainhill shall come against me. Imagon address these soldiers in ghillie suits, see, and get this guy who was born via C-section to lead them. Then I'll write a play about it. Having the greatest orgasm any living being has ever experienced. I'd say that's a pretty awesome way to do die. Twist, you die at the very beginning of it. Not really the greatest then is it? Eaten by a dinosaur. I wouldn't even be mad. You'd be dead. No time to be mad. While I'm asleep you must plug an N64 controller into my rectum and enter the code, down, left, right, up, down, left, right, up, down, left, L, R, right C. I think you'd also need the rumble pack attached to. If I shoot myself, but only in the head. That way, if I ever get tired of living, I can just end it. But I'd never accidentally shoot myself in the head. The bloke from World War Z would like a word with you. If every human being, at the same moment, wishes that I died, then I will die. This pretty much only prevents me from becoming an evil god emperor of mankind, something I have no interest whatsoever in, 
and also provides a convenient failsafe in the heat death. You are the only human left around with nothing to do scenario. You could be a god emperor. You just have to keep a few people happy. Specifically keep yourself happy. Oh man. A fleeting contemplation of suicide could do it at the right time.